Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Uh, today uh, we're going to test out Dragon's Lair 3D Return to the Lair. Uh, this is another GameCube game. Um, this particular game uh, is part of a series of the Dragon Lair video games, the old ones uh, made by uh, Don Bluth, I believe is uh, what it was. And in, in, the, in the beginning, these games were like a movie that you kind of had to control at just the right time. You had to push the button to make it go right or to duck or to, to, to swing the sword or whatever. So they had that. They had Dragon's Lair. They had Space Ace and a couple others. Uh, I just can't remember them all. There's just It's it's kind of cool to have these. It was important. There was just like groundbreaking moments of trying to be able to get like real live cinematics into an actual video game. And I think the, the Dragon Slayer series was one of the few that executed it pretty well. Uh, so today we're going to check out uh, the Dragon's Lair 3D, uh, Return of the Lair, and it just so happens that today is the day that it actually released in the United States 18 years ago. So this is the 18th birthday, Dragon's Lair 3D. Let's test it out. Is it loading? Do I need to push a button? Oh, okay. Yeah, like they all look like that, like 2D cartoons from back in the day. Matter of fact, I think that's the castle from back in the day, too. Check that out. Be sure to check the amulet if you've missed anything I've said. Nice easy camera controls. Wow. 
There we go. Nice. A little hard to see. Can I make it brighter? Not really. Okay. Looks like we have some kind of a weapons me uh, menu here. Okay. There we go. We made it. And I fell. All right. Back we go. Oh. So you gotta keep the jump button held in order to grab the ledge. And the rock got me. Okay, try this again. That time we made it. Let's wait a second for the rock. Or maybe there wasn't a rock. There we go, we made it that time. Draw and see the seal by using the control pad down. Okay. Good to know. So I can just look around. So that's this button. Oh, so we have a first person perspective that we can use to just look around and see our surroundings. For me, oh, okay. <laughs> Up we go. Well, okay. Like you're here for a while. Definitely has the making for a pretty interesting open world ish. It's probably pretty linear, but still. This is a different take over the original. You can actually control where you're going, and the cartoon animation or the character itself just looks so much like the cartoon. Can't make it up that. Guess we're gonna try and go across the drawbridge. And we have something. X will block. So that's attack, that's block. Oh crap. I 
I got him. Okay. And inside we go. All right. I could dig this. This is this is bad. 18-year-old game, finally an adult. Kind of fitting that I'm an adult and I'm finally playing the game. Let's try a little bit more of the combat out. Whoa. And killing them gets us a little bit more health at times. You can break things. More health can be hidden. Cool, cool, cool. I loosen it with the sword. Oh, look at that. Okay. I found some treasure. going on whoa 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 oh okay <laughs> so it still has some of the elements from the uh, <laughs> yes oh that's great that's classic okay I I think with that I have what I need so uh, first impressions this looks like a really good game um, it looks like it's in very much the, the, the spirit of the original Dragon's Lair um, but moving it from the motion caption select a direction and action in a, in a brief moment and kind of combining that with a 3d platformer so I am very very curious uh, how this game actually plays out with an extended play uh, if you are too uh, make sure you check out my let's play section and I'm sure you'll find Dragon's Lair 3D return to the lair as one to choose from so thank you so much for checking this game out with me uh, so once again that's Dragon's Lair 3D return to the lair for the Nintendo GameCube uh, it is a single player game um, it, it's, it's kind of fun I, I liked it I hope you enjoyed the brief amount of footage that I showed you just to not give away too much of the game and uh, until next time I'll see you later